Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm reviewing a very nice set of darts from Trinidad and it's the Jose de Souza Type 4. Now if you remember not long ago I showed you some items that were sent to me from Trinidad. They sent me four sets of the Jose de Souza darts, two steel tip and two soft tip they're all 18 gram and they also sent me about 20 sets of the wing slim flights so i will be doing a special easter giveaway where you can win the darts and some of the flights i'm not doing everything in the giveaway because it take ages to post it all and be quite expensive all in one go so i'm gonna do the darts and some of the flights so look out for that easter giveaway coming very soon so let's check out the darts so the darts are only available in 18 gram in soft and steel tip there is no other weights the 90 percent tungsten and the retail for around about 80 pound so as you can see it comes in this cardboard packaging and on the left you've got a picture of the player but it also has all the information on the barrels there inside you've got a foam insert and the barrels are fitted into a big chunky trinidad point holder got a kind of a rubbery feel to that and come supplied with the trinidad if i can get them out two-tone polycarbonate in between stems and a set of the trinidad standard shape flights the darts fit with a silver point and it's a long straight barrel dart just like the others that I'd reviewed. Got a very flat square bull nose but similar grip as before whereas this time I think they've got some extra lateral cuts so it may be touch more grippy but because it's such a thin grip there and the edge, edges are still quite new and sharp it kind of has like a slightly sticky feel so going to be interesting to see how it releases and on the rear section i think this is definitely different than the previous models it's got quite a wide curved ring grip and then on the rear you've got mostly a smooth section but we'll have a super close look at that just now but it's drilled out a long way again like it was on the other barrels so just to give you a quick idea that's i think just about touching where the tungsten is inside so quite a long way out and come supplied with the polycarbonate in between stems and the Trinidad standard shape flights but well, I think Jose uses the condor axe so like the other Jose de Souza darts it's got a very flat square bull nose and this very fine double ring grip fairly widest grooves in between the sets of rings but as you can see it's got them lateral cross cuts and i think it said there's there's more cuts this time so it does feel a little bit more grippy because of that and all that front section is that same double thin ring grip and then around the middle you've got a single smooth band and then on the rear you've got a different grip to what we had before it's kind of a wide curved grip uh, with groove in between so slightly different there and then on the end of the barrel it's a smooth section with the Trinidad logo and the red and green colors on the end so there you go that's the super close look at the Jose de Souza type 4 darts the darts fit with a silver 30mm point you've got a very slight flat smooth section there 1.8mm and then that double thin ring grip with the many lateral cuts through it that's 23mm a single ring 1.2mm then you've got this curved grooved ring grip that's 16.4 millimeters a smooth section 7.4 millimeters couple of grooves and a ring 
2.4 millimeters a smooth taper on the end 2.8 millimeters length 55 millimeters width 6.2 millimeters Eighteen point zero three grams, eighteen point zero six grams, and eighteen point zero seven grams. Full setup is nineteen point six one grams. Here's the balance with nothing attached, and with the supplied setup. And this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights. So the front is definitely quite grippy but I think it's mostly down to the fact that the cuts are very new. So I'll give it an 8 but after a while I think it'll probably wear down to around about a 6. Well, I can't believe they're all gone in the 20. <laughs> that grip is actually quite sticky. Put a little bit too much pressure on and it feels as if it's not gonna come out your fingers. There's just so many little turny cuts on it. It's, it's kind of like having like a little file in your fingers, a little sharp file. I think eventually all them cuts will smooth off a little bit and you'll lose some of the grippiness but when it's new like that you don't want to be gripping it too firmly don't think you're gonna let go of it it just feels so light as well I can feel it not leaving my fingers quite cleanly that last one was all over the place A very light dart though. I think if it wasn't drilled out so much on the rear it'd probably feel even lighter but some of the weight or most of the weight is probably towards the front where I'm holding it. I don't think I'm gonna get any decent score with these. Definitely more grippy than the last version. I think the trick is not to, definitely not to hold it as firm as you normally do. You shouldn't be holding the dart too hard anyway. But also to be a bit more gentle and precise with your release, I think. But I'll try it from the middle section. Um, Probably going to be half and half here, half on the wide part on the back and half on that grippy section. That actually went really smooth through the air, but oh, that one wasn't too bad. So it will work from there, but you still have to be a bit careful of that grip sticking to your skin a little bit. Try it properly on the rear now, so I'm going to go fully on the wide ring grip. I'm not going right to the end of the barrel where it's smooth. I'm going to stick on the, stay on the grip. That was really nice and smooth. That was quite, quite smooth flying from that position, but not fully at the rear there, I was, I was on that grip there. Um, if I go right to the rear, I think it'll be going all over the place. But it's a long straight barrel dart. Uh, so if you like your long straight barrels and you like a light dart, and if you're a front gripper who wants a fair amount of grip, then yeah, definitely. I think for mid and rear grippers, you're still getting a little bit, but if you're gripping right at the end of the barrel, then obviously it's not as much grip there but it does look a very nice start kind of simple and elegant looking
think that's in. Oh, yeah, that's two in. Surprised to get any with these. It does feel quite sticky like. If I get a clean release, they go quite smooth, but a lot of the time they're kind of sticking and just going all over. That's three. I can't believe I've got three with these. Oh, nearly got another one there on the inside of the wire. Oh, close again. No. I can't tell if that's in or not. It is. Uh, was that three or was that four? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Thirteen. Oh, got it. Ah. I think the trick is not to get my finger, or my thumb I should say, fully on the grip. <laughs> Just kind of get my edge on it a little bit. I think, uh, I think that's above the wire. Should put my own glasses on. I think I can see a bit better with them. Oh no, it was in. 16. I don't know how many I've got now. I'm not sure if it's five. <laughs> I'll have to just check when I look back at the video. Oh. No. So there you go. Can't remember how many it was, but. I'll put it up on the screen when I've really checked it all. Three points. Twenty six points. Four points.
52 points. Oh, I got it in. I couldn't see there with the other dart in the way. Bullseye. That's 50. Twenty-five, that's seventy-five. Nope, nothing. That's nine darts. <laughs> Another 25, that's a hundred. Three darts left. Oh, got a deflection on that one. That's 25, uh, 125. So there you go, that's the Trinidad Jose de Souza Type 4. I actually thought I was going to do worse than I did, but <laughs> it's quite a sticky feeling that, and I think it's just mainly down to the fact that there's so many little fine cuts, and with it being new, it does kind of like linger in your skin a little bit. Sometimes when I was letting go, it just was going like that. But when I was getting it to go a nice clean release, it was actually flying quite smooth. So if you're into your long straight barrels, then definitely give it a try. But for me, it's a bit on the light side as well. Now, the only other thing is it is drilled out quite a bit. So it's got a slightly front weighted feel. But I think definitely front grippers get the best of the grip. And then obviously, if you just pass the center and you're gripping on that wide ring grip, not quite as grippy there, but still okay and i think it'll suit quite a lot of people um nice looking dart but probably not for me overall so i'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a close look at them and i'll see you on the next one happy darting